Hi all, this is Vishal from PEM team. Today I am going to give you the demo on PEM job scheduler. This video will demonstrate about the architecture of PEM job scheduler, how it works in PEM and how PEM agent manages these jobs. PEM job scheduler allows user to create scheduled job in PEM to perform certain set of custom defined operation in specified sequence. We have introduced this feature in PEM release 7.9. These jobs are created and managed at agent level. The job have certain steps and it has certain scheduler. Scheduler take care about the execution time of particular job. PEM job scheduler have certain advantages. First, it can have multiple steps and multiple schedule for single job that means user can create n number of steps and multiple schedule for single job at agent second single job can be executed on different server and different database bound with particular agent at a time third it is a cross platform based feature that means we can configure the pem jobs on both windows and linux this is PEM job scheduler architecture overview diagram. This shows the hierarchical distribution between PEM server, PEM agent, jobs under PEM agent and job steps. We can see for agent 1 we have two jobs called job 1 and job 2. For job 1 we have two steps, steps 1, step 2. That means we have two separate code of execution for job 1. Similarly for job 2 we have three job steps. Likewise, we can create n number of steps for particular job. We can execute these job steps using job scheduler. So we can configure it under job 1. Likewise, some jobs may not have job scheduler. We can execute them as per our business requirement by using run now option on right clicking to job. Now I will show you how to create and how to manage the PEP scheduler job. To create or to manage scheduler job, use PEM browser tree. We can see job node under PEM agent. Please note that as a part of role based component, we have a dedicated role called PEM manager scheduled tasks to operate on this feature. So users which inherits PEM admin and PEM manage scheduled task membership would be only able to operate on this scheduled task. Here we can see one role called PEM manage scheduled task. So now we will create one sample job. We need to specify the job name. Here we can enable or disable the job status. In step step, click on this button to add step 1. Give the name to step. We can enable or disable step. As mentioned earlier, the, SQ, the code can be SQL or batch or shell script. We will select SQL. Now we need to select server and database under the particular agent. We will select default server and now we will select the database. In code tab mention the code which will get executed on step execution. We will create one sample table. Also, we will insert some data into it. This is the code we will execute on job execution. Likewise, we can add multiple steps in single job. Then we will go to schedule tab, tab to schedule the job execution. Click on new row to add the scheduler work. We can enable or disable the scheduler. Use calendar control to mention the start and end time of job. Likewise, we can also select the job end time. 
so at this time the job execution will get start and at this time the job execution will end we can also repeat the scheduler we can select the days the months we can select all the weekdays we will select all the mondays and we will select all the months also we can select that hours and minutes also the exception feature allows user to stop the job execution for any particular time use this field on exception tab to specify days on which you wish to job not to execute for example one may opt for job not to execute on non business days for now we will keep this field as blank user can also set up the email notification just like alert email for that user need to specify the email group and when to send the email we will select send notification always also we will select email group which we which has been created during alert creation go to sql tab to review all the sql for creation of this job if everything goes well click on save button this will create the job 1 for us so now you can see job 1 we can also review the properties from this panel you can see steps and scheduler for job 1 likewise we can create multiple schedulers and multiple steps for job 1 we can also modify an existing job to do it right click on job name and select the property here we can change the job properties like we can change the name we can also change the steps we can add the steps we can remove the steps we can also change the schedules we can add or remove the schedule also we can mark this step as enable or disable as per our business requirement user can also execute the job right away on clicking run now option so this will execute the job right away so we can see the running status last result as yes so s yes means success to verify we will check the table in pam database we can see one table called test has been created in pem schema also this should have the rows inside it so that means the job got successfully executed and it has inserted the data in it as we have selected send notification email as true we have received a job notification email you can see we received email as the job completed so this indicates the job has been completed and user has been notified via email user can configure a job notification on job level at server level and agent level user can configure the setting in pem console for sending the smtp traps on success or failure of system generated job listed under scheduled task we already demonstrated about the job level notification in similar way we can have notification at server and agent level this shows the job notification flow diagram as seen we have three levels of job notification one global level job notification second agent level job notification and third job level notification global job level job notifications can be configured using server configuration wizard since these are global these are applicable for all the jobs present in system likewise we have agent job notification we can override the global level job notification in agent level job notification these are specific to particular agent we can achieve this by using right click to particular agent and under job notification tab lastly we have job level notification we can configure this notification at particular job falling under particular agent these are applicable for only uh, job at job level for server level job notification 
we can configure it on in server configuration for this open server configuration and go to job section here we can modify the properties for job at server level we will mark this job failure notification as true also we can select the email group we will select group 1 as email group we can set the days for job retention time and also we can change the job status change notification for now we will set this as a true we will save this setting so that the server level job notification prop configuration will be done in a similar way we can also configure the agent level job notification for this right click on pem agent go to properties and go to job notification section here we can overwrite the default configuration this will overwrite the default configuration for job notification if selected the following setting will determine whether and when to send the email to email group we will select this email job completion as true also we can email on job failure as well also we can select the email group which will send the email to particular email id we will save this setting so likewise we can also create agent level job notification in a similar way we can also delete the job we create PEM will allow user to delete the job using this menu. So this will delete the job we have created in PEM. So now we have deleted the job we, which we created. So this completes the demo for PEM job scheduler. In this video we have seen what is PEM job scheduler, its architecture and how PEM agent manages the jobs. We also seen creation of the job steps, scheduler, email notification for job status and actual job execution. We also tried to modify the job and deleted the same. Thank you for watching this video.